Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading and it is from February to March 2021 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Leo. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your first Oracle card. So what do we have for Leo please? In Money and Career only, thank you. For February to March 2021, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you. I flew out your card, so let's go with it. I have jealousy will lead to downfall. Now, that can be you, but you're not really that much of a jealous sign, Leo. I feel somebody is jealous of you. How funny. Now it's interesting because at the, at the you know, bottom of the deck I've got the shield. You are safe from harm. Some negative energy I'm picking up from this. It feels like a person. But you're shielded. You are shielded. You are protected by the universe. I mean, that's definitely clear. Definitely getting some karmic energy here. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. The message for you is just to shield your energy, focus your energy on what is only going to bring you growth and abundance. So visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. So this is about stay focused on the important things, not necessarily on this. If you're feeling this kind of energy, I mean, it doesn't really feel like Leo to me. You know, the message is just to focus on what is going to bring you abundance. Shield yourself from falling into that trap. Okay. So what do we have for Leo, please? So I'm just going to sort out my microphone one second. There we go. What do we have for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guide? What's the overarching energy for Leo? Money and career only, thank you. February to March 2021. So I have the Nine of Swords. Okay. So Leo, I'm going to pull. See, it's interesting, even when I cut the cards, I'm seeing the Devil and the Eight of Cups walking away from some toxic energy. So I'm going to pull five cards. The first card is your current issue or challenge in money and career. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's against you and um, any issues or obstacles to overcome. Third card, sorry, fourth card is advice from spirit. And the fifth card is your final outcome. So what do we have for Leo, please, in money and career? Thank you. February to March 2021. We have the Six of Coins. Wheel of Fortune is what's going for you. That can't be much better in money and career, I have to say. <laughs> Very nice energy indeed. We have the Nine of Cups as what's going against you. Okay. The Page of Swords is advice from Spirit. And we have the Two of Swords here, Leo, as your outcome. Bottom of the deck, lovely, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay. I definitely feel for some of you, you're shielding yourself or the message is to shield from any negative energy that you might be feeling. It feels also there could be a person for some of you and it definitely feels like there, there's jealousy there in terms of you, what you're capable of and 
you know, your energy, your character, maybe popularity, that kind of energy. It feels like they're some kind of, they're threatened by you or someone's threatened by you, most definitely. The message for you is to visualize abundance in all forms and abundance will come to you. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is definitely telling you here. So, but I definitely feel something's getting in your head, Leo. The Nine of Swords, I'm going to pull a card for this. Let's pull a card. I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams to clarify. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords for Leo, please. What is getting in your head? What is causing you stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights? Page of Cups. Well, the Page of Cups is to do with things are about to look up. Um, again, that can be due to, down to some offer opportunity. Uh, it is an intuitive message as well, trusting your intuition. It feels in this energy, Leo, something is getting in your head. Um, something is causing you stress, anxiety, worry. It could be money career work itself or it could be a person a situation and I'm definitely feeling there is some jealousy someone's threatened by you but they're causing you to feel they're getting into your head so much and again this is where you need to shield you know you are safe from harm shield yourself focus on what is going to bring you happiness and joy and that kind of energy and don't focus on see i'm seeing, I'm seeing a mon you see the monster's hand the monster whatever this monster is to you whatever monster situation you're dealing with it feels in this situation then there's a need with the nine of swords to get perspective is when our mind focuses so much on the negative that we can't see the wood for the trees you know it's that kind of energy there's a sense of being lost in your own head uh, where stress, anxiety, where it really gets on top of you. So I definitely feel in this energy, whatever this monster is, whether it's specifically to do with your career, if there is jealousy or resentment towards other people because you're in this situation, or whether you're someone's threatened by you, I'm definitely getting that energy as well. It feels like someone is getting into your own head here. And there's such, I mean, the Page of Cups is saying, you know, you need to focus on abundance because there's such possibility around you this is a card of there's real possibility and promise around you as well okay so six of pentacles leo i mean sometimes this can be to do with charity debts as well so there could be some real money issues here for some of you um it's a card though that you're being told by the universe you're going to get what you need you know, be open to receive, you're going to get what you need, that kind of energy. But for some of you, yeah, you might feel also something is one, for some of you, you might feel something at work is one-sided. You put everything into something, but you're not getting anything back. And this is that kind of jealousy, the resentment that you might be dealing with with somebody. Um, can be that kind of energy as well, Leo. So, as I said, take what resonates for you. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck, good fortune. Your fortunes are about to change. If you haven't been receiving... Um, I mean, again, if, if it's struggling for money or receiving breadcrumbs from somebody in terms of promotions, opportunities, because they want to keep you down, you know, they want to keep you pigeonholed or something, you don't feel that you're being rewarded, there's a message you're going to get what you need. Be open to receive. This is your time. The universe rewarding you and recognizing your efforts. And this is a karmic energy, you know, it's karma. So you will be rewarded because the universe always writes and balances itself out. So the energy and effort that we put into something, even though people around us might not want to reward us and gratify us and be thankful, there's definitely this energy of you will. You will get that back. So good luck, good fortune. Your fortune is about to change. This is a kind of expansion growth. Gifts from the universe, lovely, lovely energy. 
So a great turning point, things are going to turn around for you. And it's a karmic one as well. You can't stop, this person cannot. If it's a, I'm definitely feeling it's a person for some of you, somebody or a situation making you feel less than your value, paying you less than what you're worth as well less than what you do. Some kind of one-sided energy here. It definitely feels that that is going to change. The nine of cups is focus. I mean, this is, is what's against you. So, yeah, I mean, this can be a card of dissatisfaction. The nine of cups is generally a wish coming true, wish fulfillment, reasons to be thankful. In more of a, a challenge position, it can be a card of dissatisfaction and feeling dissatisfied, feeling dissatisfied with the state of play, whatever this is. But there's definitely a mess message of, yeah, there's reasons why. I think you have reasons to be dissatisfied. It feels somebody, they're threatened by you, they're jealous. They want to keep you down. They won't pay you your due, that kind of energy. It can also be, if it's not to do with that, Leo, dealing with some kind of financial debt or not having enough or feeling like you have enough. It's definitely going to change here um, because that's what the Wheel of Fortune is telling you. But there's definitely some dissatisfaction going on here. Um, Page of Swords is a message of truth. The truth will come out. Truth will come out. That could be a karmic event. That could be some truths coming out, some home truths, the truths being revealed. This is a message of truth. It can also be learning something, some news or information that comes to light here that may change your fortunes. So there could be some revelation or truth linked with this, Leo. Learning, someone learning the truth about a situation. This can also be a card of news as well. Some news or information coming your way. The page is generally linked to the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So definitely changes on the cards, change, change energy. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings, the shift. Things turning in your favour karmically as well. So the Two of Swords, it might well be some kind of decision that you're being asked to, to make. I mean, this can also be a lack of clarity or weighing something up. So maybe some news or information is coming to light here and there's some kind of decision to make here. The message is trust your instinct in which way you need to go, Leo. It feels like some kind of decision or choice will be will require to be made to you. But I don't feel it's a negative thing. Because it feels for some of you it's to do with this, which is to do with the Page of Pentacles can be um, career financial opportunities, a message to do with a career financial opportunity, job, you know, that kind of energy, and, you know, um, some, uh, some kind of opportunity, some door opening for you, some message of some opening maybe. Um, yeah, it feels very, very beautiful. This can also be a card of skills development, so bettering yourself. If you're, if you're wanting to get the next level up in terms of promotion and opportunity and advancing yourself in your industry, you might be getting some professional qualifications here as well, Leo. So it might well be that there is some opportunity or opening to do that as well. But it definitely feels like there is some kind of career financial opportunity coming for some of you. It feels very beautiful. This is a card of what you've been manifesting is taking form. It's the first stage of it taking form. So the interview, the news, um, the message of this opportunity, you know, whatever it means for you. But what it is, is things are about to look up. There is such possibility around you. And this is that possibility being manifested. Remember, the pentacles is the solid tangible results of our efforts so there's definitely the beginnings of abundance associated with this and growth 
um, something to build on long term. You know, this is something that you're taking action towards to, for long term growth and, you know, success and so on. So I definitely see in this energy maybe some kind of decision or weighing something up towards the end of the, the next month or two. But it's because there is a change of fortune, opportunity, things open up for you, things start shifting, things start happening, doors start opening, obstacles start being removed, you know, and it's all down to divine time and divine orchestration, things are going to start turning in your favour, it's your time to receive. It feels like you're not receiving, you're dissatisfied that you're not receiving from somebody, um, for some of you. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos. We have rabbit sensitive soul. Strengthen. It's interesting, isn't it? Strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. You know, that page of swords. No emotion involved here. This sword is just coming down. So it feels in this situation, you know, that could be an element of this reading, this opportunity that is allowing you to cut those cords with something that has been dissatisfying. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? I'm just going to pull one more card for you, Leo. Thank you. Y you know... We have cat speak your truth have strength faith and conviction in your voice it has never been more needed because i think when you speak your truth it's going to be acknowledged that is going to bring the change of events um now that could be obviously you speaking your truth in interviews new connections but maybe even there is some opening or opportunity to speak your truth at your current place of work maybe you know if that feels right for you either way the message is divine time and divine orchestration things are turning in your favor good luck good fortune will ensue ensue you are safe from harm so try and get perspective don't focus on the monsters you know don't focus on the monsters focus on what is going to bring you happiness joy because the possibility is around you yeah i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month or two for you leo and i will see you next time thank you